find it in uh, Sistema. And uh, I'm also a certified instructor in Just Gel Fire. This is where I actually first learned it and then I found it in every other art I studied, which was really cool. It's the deadliest move in the martial arts. Steven, come on out here. Brush trap strike, the first move we talked about, deals with attacks approaching me. As the strike is coming in, I'm moving and I'm entering, right? Again, most of us, that's not actually what's going to, especially for you ladies, you're probably not going to see it coming. Make sense? The next move works from what we call the clinch position or the hands up position. The secret to this movement, the movement literally looks like this. Okay, there's a lot there. Man's grabbing me. First thing I want to do is I want to play uh, like he's got cooties. <laughs> In other words, I want to move my hip and my shoulder, but I don't want him to feel it. Two. <laughs> that was part of the move. The tighter somebody grabs you, the more of a connection they give you. Which, by the way, since we're on the pressure point segment, we'll start with something really cool about pressure points. He's choking me. I don't know what yin and yang is, right? This means yes, this means no. Yin and yang? Yin and yang. Yin and yang, right? Yeah. This means, by the way, this means yes, this means no. This means I know the answer, this means I don't. This means, oh shit, I hope he doesn't do that to me. Right? So, <laughs> from this position, okay? First thing that happens, the minute we feel hands around our neck, we go, and we die because we don't take his hands away. Right? Most of us don't realize that the minute somebody grabs you with their hands, uh, just poke them in the eyes. But most of the time when I show that move, the first thing I hear is, ew. If you're going ew now, you probably won't do it out there either. You won't practice it. So, but when in doubt, jab them in the eye. There's another one that you can learn. I learned from uh, Grandmaster Wally J, from a brown belt and small circle jiu-jitsu. Find the nipple line, dead center of the sternum. Take that knuckle. I don't know, for some reason I just want to <laughs> dig on you. The, hand, the hands go up. Here, that hurts worse. It yep. makes you want to let go, right? So dig into that. Still sore from the last time you did okay. it, that's why. But those are distractors. Those are things that are going to take his mind off of, off of the little hits, right? <laughs> but the movement we want to work is this. That's just one variation. The movement is drop your knees, dip your shoulder, brush your hair, be dainty. <laughs> and then just turn your hips. Other side, so here. Drop your hips. Brush your hair. Up. Okay. Or we can go back to that whole yin yang thing I was telling you about. Yin meridians are on the inside of the arm. Yang meridians are on the outside of the arm. Yang meridians entice the body. They draw the body in. Do this. <laughs> yang meridians. Open and repel the body. So he grabs me tight, throw my like bull. Throw my like bull. Can, you, can I borrow you? He chokes me, big strong guy. Just choke? Yeah. Give him a real choke. Even if he's got me against the wall. Come here, David. Man's choking me. Is that all you got? <laughs> and that's me just moving. The secret is, it's because the, I don't know if the Chinese figured out some weird energetic thing, but for some strange reason, anytime you have an outward movement on the outside of the arm, the spine does this, and it opens you up. So what, first thing, before we get into the hairbrush side of things, just work from a choke. Find the triceps. Just give him a little tap. Tap along the bone. 
Just that. Sitting on oh, that's different. We'll get to that later. <laughs> but actually, if you're sitting on top of you, you can still do a lot of this. Opa. You just have to work with gravity instead of against it. Okay. You notice most of the things I do, we, call, we have what we call the 25% rule. If we're using more than 25% of our strength to accomplish anything, we're working too hard. We keep that other 75 for emergencies. But again, start with this. Find the Yang Meridian. Uh, anybody else want me to do it to him before we break up? Come on. <laughs> he loves this. I don't know why. This is one of my students, Alex, but he just, he just loves to give you. So go ahead. So again, Alex is big and strong, right? He's, he, he's, he's passionate. <laughs> right? Even if he's forcing me back. Right? Even if he's, like, he's, he's really driving, right? See? But most of us don't do that. As soon as we feel this, we try to dig in and we try to fight. Right? Just tap him. Make sense? Play with it. Go. Find new partners, introduce yourself, and beat them up. <laughs> 